What's going on guys and welcome to the Shifted Perspective YouTube channel. My name is Brandon and we're doing a lawn care video today. Okay, so I know that almost all of my videos are car related, but I really focus them on things that I've spent a lot of time figuring out and then sort of executing on my own terms. So essentially what I'm saying is I've spent a lot of time figuring out information on lawn care and I thought it was very basic. Mow your lawn when it's long, don't mow it if it's not long and maybe edge around you know the barn or whatever you have so it looks nice. And it's a lot more than that. I mean, with anything you can go as deep as you want, but with lawn care there actually is a lot more to it than what meets the surface. Um, I want to document and sort of give you guys a really nice progression of what I'm going to say is an extreme transformation. And as you guys can see from the pictures and videos, the lawn uh, that had the previous owners were not detail people and they were not people that really did anything other than mow as far as I can tell. So pretty much anything that you'd be annoyed by if you're detail oriented about the lawn, this lawn probably has it. It is green and it looks good from the street, but other than that, to me and to the people who actually know what they're looking at, does not look good. And you guys can see it from all these pictures. This is the current state. Um, it's June or end of May, June of 2020. Uh, I just want to document all this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into my exact plans other than mowing ideally about twice a week. I'll probably set my Honda lawn mower to the middle notch, um, which I believe is between two and a half and three inches, which I think did shock the grass when I initially cut it because I did learn that you are supposed to observe the one third rule, which means however long the grass is, do not cut more than a third off of it. So if the grass is super long, you can't just knock it down to only a few inches tall because you're gonna shock the grass and the root and that's gonna prohibit growth and you want the roots to grow sideways instead of up and down or not at all or whatever. It's this whole thing with the plant, it's a plant, just like you take care of a flower, you take care of grass a certain way, which actually is pretty basic. Mow it a lot, fertilize when it needs, and water it, I guess. I mean, generally, if you mow correctly, right height, right time, you'll be fine. I mean, I don't know what I'm actually talking about, but that's just what I've read. So, this is the first video lawn care series, probably get like 300 views, but I don't really care. I just wanna document it and kinda of give you my thoughts on what's going on, and I definitely will give you progression videos. Um, I've been talking to a few people who actually are like very well versed in like the lawn care spectrum. I didn't really even know that. I mean, I guess without having a house, you don't really get on that topic, but um, I do have a Honda lawnmower. It's kind of older, but it doesn't look old. I had to replace the carburetor on it, um, but that thing is running really good. I plan to mulch the grass as much as possible. So I did learn that that uh, is better for it. If you can mulch without sort of suffocating it, definitely do that. And I do want to mow about twice a week unless it is extreme summer and it really doesn't need it. We're going to kind of just transform. We're going to get the weeds out. I uh, fertilized already. I used a sun and shade mix. So one of the things other than mowing frequently, I know I mentioned that I shocked the grass when I initially mowed because it really was too long. I did decide to fertilize. I went with the weed and feed fertilizer by Scott's. I bought a little spreader that was only like $36 for the spreader. I was really surprised. So although I think a lot of people probably would recommend uh, fertilizing in fall, I, I think people do do it year round. I don't really know. I can only assume that they did not fertilize last fall. So I know it's very early June, end of May. Um, I fertilized and I did just the basic Scott's um, weed and feed, put it on setting three and a half on my little spreader and I just went to town. I used the whole bag and I got a fairly small bag for the whole yard because I'm like, you know what, even if I run out, I'll get the whole yard and then any extra I'll just do beyond the fence, which is a little more like woodsy, type of grass, so it's not as nice. I'll show it to you guys. So I did fertilize, I did edge the grass, which was horrible to do. So if you edge a grass that has not been edged in years, you're cutting off like inches uh, that has approached onto the sidewalk. So that's not fun. 
I uh, definitely weed whacked and did that whole thing. So that is where the lawn is starting. We are starting from a terrible spot, which actually is kind of exciting. You know, it's like buying a car that needs all this detail work, the wheels off, it needs um, paint correction and coating and all that stuff. That's kind of how the lawn is too. So it's gonna be a work in progress. And thank you guys uh, for tuning in and watching the lawn care series on the Shifted Perspective YouTube channel. We're gonna shift your perspective on the lawn. Um, I do wanna show you, if you didn't see my other videos, I picked up an Ego 650 battery powered blower, 56 volts. Literally, I think um, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful blower out there, including gas. Uh, so even like the still blowers, this is po more powerful than I believe all of them. I could be wrong on that, but it's legit. I've already, um, it's already paid for itself as far as I'm concerned. And the other piece of equipment other than my Honda lawnmower is this, which is also an Ego attachment. It has this part that obviously goes into the weed whacker and then I also have another attachment that goes into the edger. So far having the battery powered tools are really nice because you don't have to fumble around with gas. And I just figured with the blower it only made sense to go with a brand that is focused on, it seems like Ego's focus, like their business model is battery powered like lawn equipment. Like DeWalt makes a blower, but they don't really make blowers. You know what I mean? Like still the STIHL or steel or however you say it, they make lawn equipment, they make lawnmowers, they make blowers, they make edgers, they make hedge trimmers. So if you want to buy that, it kind of makes sense. So that's kind of where I was at. I have the whole DeWalt line for the tools, but I figured for lawn care, I'd be very specific on that. Uh, I know I'm probably droning on and on, but these are literally like thoughts that I've been up till not even kidding, like 3.30 in the morning, like trying to figure out what blower makes sense. Is the $150 blower half as good as the $300 blower? Is gas, should I just go with gas and not worry about the electric crap? Is the battery gonna last long enough? All that stuff. So I will give you progress updates on kind of the tools and the gear, because I think the gear is cool. This is kind of heavy though, I will tell you that. I think our friends that use the blower love the power. Their arm is like pushed back, and I'm not even kidding. Um, so it is very powerful, but it is heavy. So you have to get, you have to, you have to do arm day. Um, you have to do enough arm day to, to, to use the blower. So that is gonna do it. I'm gonna get very distracted here. Current state of the lawn, terrible. I don't even wanna talk about it, but I am excited for what's to come. I promise you by like September, the lawn is literally gonna look like a different lawn. I swear to God to you. So I'm so excited to be transforming this place and all my neighbors are literally gonna be jealous that they think some um, insane person lives. They probably already do because they see me wash my car. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, leave comments below. Suggestions are welcome. And I will see you guys next time.